Hey everybody, this is John. The drop turner type target is typically used in uh, USPSA and IPSC type shooting matches. Uh, they are a few hundred dollars, but I'm going to show you today how to make one out of PVC pipe for under 20 bucks. So the PVC pipe is inch and one quarter stuff, uh, schedule 40. It's just the stuff you get at Home Depot with end caps here. This base, you're not going to get this at Home Depot. You're going to have to order it online at a place that sells furniture PVC which is a type of PVC that you can make shelves and tables and crap like that out of. So I'll provide a link for that and you can go to that website and get some of these. Uh, basically it just looks like that. And this is inch and a quarter PVC with one inch PVC inside. So there's two pieces of PVC. This PVC you can buy at Home Depot for I think it's like five bucks or something for ten feet. So if you bought a 10 feet of inch and a quarter and 10 feet of one inch PVC, you could cut it in half right there in the store so it'll fit in your car. They're about probably four or five bucks for 10 feet. And you got a zigzag here. You're gonna need a Dremel or something to cut a zigzag into this. So you wanna measure the diameter around this pipe on the outside and then take a quarter of that and uh, create a zigzag pattern for yourself. Trace it down and cut it out. And then drill a small hole in the inside PVC and, and hammer a nail into that hole. And uh, then for the top part, for the stand, what I use is an uh, inch and a quarter PVC here with a T. And then uh, for the ends, I just cut a hole through here, drill a hole, and put a stick in. And then I put the end cap. So the end cap here, the stick can wobble around a bit, right? But when you put the end cap on like that, it will uh, make it more, uh, you know, squared up. And also when you staple cardboard targets onto this, uh, what that will do is uh, make it firm as well. Now the length of this wide here, this is going to determine how fast the thing will turn when it falls. So if you decide to make these really short like this, it's going to turn really fast. If you make them very, very long, wide, then it's going to turn very slow. So even if you want to have a small target here in the center, you may still want to have this long and just put the sticks, maybe put a separate hole here, and put the stick here and then put that target like that. And for the top end, all I did was I put a one inch PVC coupler on the top here and that seems to fit just nicely into the inch and a quarter like that. Now you may want to drill a hole here and uh, put a screw in there because this thing, the momentum is going to make it want to turn. And also what I put, what I do here is, if I'm using this on a concrete floor, I will take an old brake rotor, just lay on top like that for weight. I'm sure you could use a sandbag or something like that. You can also, if you're going to use it outside, you could drill holes through the legs here and then use like six or eight inch nails and hammer it into the dirt. If you don't want to hammer into the thing with a hole, another option is to get a piece of plywood to go under and then get these inch and a quarter conduit clamps. It's for the gray PVC conduit pipe you'll find in the electrical section of Home Depot. And these clamps can just go over like that and then screw that onto uh, the plywood. And I guess when you're done, you, you can probably just not use these end caps at all. And uh, when you screw it onto the plywood then, and when you want to disassemble it, you could just pull the pipe out through the uh, clamp. Now to arm a target like this, what you typically do is you raise the pipe all the way, you drill a hole in here. You could drill several holes around this to have different entry points. And then you would take like a pin or a nail or something like that. And you would stick it in the hole like that. And then this string would go to a knockdown target somewhere. And when that target falls, it pulls the string and it pulls out the pin. So, you know, typically you'd have to pull it out and the target falls. But say you're going to be shooting uh, IPSC in a country that doesn't allow real guns and you're shooting it with like airsoft, then what do you do? Well, a falling airsoft target is going to be a very light target and it's not going to have the strength to pull the pin out. So there is attachment that you can put on to give it more leverage and pull the pin out that way. I glued this little arm on right here and I created this little aluminum thing. Took a piece of aluminum that you get at an industrial supply metal store and I just traced out a pattern, used my jigsaw and I cut it out. 
So with something like this then, this can be attached and uh, this is actually pretty convenient. So with this piece of metal like this, I just put like a cotter pin in right here, bent it up through a hole, put some ears on it like that, and this end down here. So how I did this is I just took a piece of, you know, your wife's cutting board, cut a piece out of it, filed it down, drilled a hole in it, and then epoxy glue it onto this thing. And then you can just put this pin and put it on like this. Okay, so now then I drilled a small hole into the pipe right here, and this is where the pin is going to go. So I've got a small pin on right here. So when you lift the pipe up, that goes in like that. So now, what you can do, install a small screw with an eye loop in it, uh, right here, just opposite of this guy down here, and that can come through, and then you can put this through the little loop right here. Now this is convenient because the target that's going to knock down to trigger this thing can be anywhere. This string can come in from any direction into this little hole. And then when, you, when the little small light target falls, it will just easily pull on the string and knock the whole thing down. The dimensions of this thing, each leg I use, inch and a quarter PVC, this is about 10 inches or so. So each one of these are around 10 inches. As for the length here, I use about, uh, about 39 or 40 inches in length here. So you're going to need this pipe and then the one inch piece inside is also going to be around the same length, 40 inches. Now I chose that length because the sticks that I use are uh, an eight foot length of that stick cut into four pieces. So each stick is only two feet long. Now if you decide to have each foot, each stick three feet long to raise the target the same height but have more clearance from the PVC, you could make this thing 12 inches shorter. So uh, 28 inches long, you could do this piece. These pieces here are approximately 11 inches from, from the end to the center of the T. You'll notice what I did here. I drilled some holes here and put pins in that can easily be removed if I want. I did that so, you know, to prevent these sticks from, from moving around inside this T. The center of each stick from the center of the T, well, the edge of the stick to the T is about eight and a half inches. You could have these guys come in a little more. I've got it overlapped, so the 18 inch wide target is about center to center of each stick. And then I have uh, what quarter inch bolts that go through here. So the zigzag part, I put a black marker on the inside pipe just so it make it more clear for you. Uh, this is approximately uh, six and a half or a bit, no, seven inch, inches long this way. And I, I start here and I go here and then this is about a half inch. And I zigzag across here and go about another half inch zigzag down here, half inch, zigzag up there, and then another half inch or so up there. And um, just to give you perspective, you know, this is, this is the whatever one quarter uh, revolution of the pipe is, that's how long that is. So just put a piece of string or a piece of paper or something, wrap around this thing, mark it, open it up, and then uh, break it up into four equal lengths, and then take one strip, uh, that long and then draw yourself a zigzag and uh, cut it out wrap it around the pipe again trace it out with black marker then take your dremel with a cutting uh, thing on it and just cut this out this small piece of plastic is like three quarters of an inch high and I don't know maybe like uh, three quarters of an inch wide this part then I chose to be about I don't know Two and a half inches this way with the hole drilled here at about I don't know something like two inches curled up I just put this around a screwdriver handle and knocked it in like that a little hole drilled in it and then this end here is about uh, six inches that way and then just down this end drill put the pin in like that and you can also drill a hole in here or several holes in here in this coupler part and put this on and then you could put a pin in here if you felt the need to pin it down. I have not found the need to do that. Well that's how you do that. 
Now you have no excuse for not having your own drop turn or target. Okay, so just after making that video, I decided to make another drop turn. And this one on the right side is the new one. What I did was I made it about seven inches shorter than the first one that I showed you. And I also made both about five inches shorter altogether. So right now, this piece of pipe is 35 inches long here down and so is the inside one and, and this one over here is 28 inches long what you'll see now is that this one over here has more wood in the sticks and that makes it turn slower this one over here the uh, USPSA target is the exact height of the sticks so let's see the difference in the spin and the turning rate So as you can tell, if you want two targets of different turning rate, well then you could make both with a different length of sticks. Or um, if you want a faster one or slower one, you can choose your height of the PVC or the sticks accordingly.